<laughs> and good morning on this Tuesday morning. Anywhere from 66 to 72 degrees out there this morning. That's pretty widespread, but feels good outside. It looks absolutely beautiful already, and what a great day it's going to be. JC? Well, thank you for telling me how my day is going to be it's going be already. Great. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. Thank y'all for getting up with us. This is Athens in the AM on a Tuesday morning edition of Cooper and Company Live, the longest-running morning show in Athens, Alabama, on Highway 72, right next door to Mojo. <laughs> Join us today, Dr. Jan White, back in the house this morning. Yay. Jan, don't look much to your right. You might want to get up and move. Alan Johnson, <laughs> yeah. Allied Services, and Tom. Well, yes. Tom. Yes. Tom, <laughs> terrific. <laughs> Tom, Tom. Alan, how are you? I'm lovely. Well, you got one more tournament? <laughs> you, you, you're, too, you're too fired up for me in the morning. I know it. Yeah, I, know it. <laughs> I think that, camp, that camping you're doing all the time is draining you. That may be it. <laughs> yeah. Tall Allen just lived it to the man who knows all about sports is in here too. Mr. Zach, Bama Zach. Yeah. Zach, did you do that cold water challenge yet? No, I haven't. He got on to me for being a wimp in mine. And I have y'all done that I yet? Never I never did. I, I have got to do it. I've been challenged and I can't back down from it. So. There ain't nothing to it because I poured water on but she had her bathing suit hey, on. Well, what, what if I come up here Thursday morning early before the show and y'all douse We're going to do it live during the show because Shut Up's going to be part of it too. So, hey, Nana. Yeah. As long as I have time to dry off and, uh, and uh, Alan, who challenged you? Uh, one of my friends from college challenged me. Of course, it's been more than 24 hours. So yeah, I, I, I asked him. That rule. Well, I just said, you're not going to tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm Janet, do it. Is it, you know what we're talking about? No, I haven't a clue. Well, it's stupid, but anyway, a lot of people do it. <laughs> All right. Huh? It's a thing for charity. No, Old Town Market brings you this for the show, as always, in the kitchen. We'll have those that weekly specials coming out for you tomorrow, too. As y'all know, Gloria's about to it's going to be a hot, and she actually got into our pool yesterday for the first time up to here because the water was boiling. No, not quite. That's about the way it is. Anyway, let's get this party started on this Tuesday. Well, well, we got a special intern in here this morning, kind of making her way in here. A little Pulaski socialite joining us this morning. Now, a resident of Bay Hill to Miss Morgan Ms. Hoover, Morgan. going to Ole Miss. Says she knows Bo Wallace personally, knows his whole family, and he's a really <laughs> no. nice guy. Well, he's Not still like going to lose to Alabama this fall. Nope, oh nothing my. personal. But Hotty toddy. Roll time. Yeah. Her daddy's a lawyer. She better watch what you say. I didn't say <laughs> nothing bad. Yeah, okay. All right. Here's Gloria with a hot one for you. It is going to be a hot one today. Yesterday was quite warm, too. Hope you got to get out and enjoy or maybe cool off if you needed to. But... Like I said, about 67, 68 degrees already this morning. High temperatures of 92, only a 10% chance of rain. Tomorrow, that rain chance jumps up to 30% with high temperatures around 93. So maybe a little bit of a shower, cool things off just a little bit. And then it looks like no rain to worry about until possibly the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, with 30% chance of showers. How are you, Dr. White? Great. Long time no see. I know it. Yeah, oh, we no. thought you might have moved off or something. No. Huh? I'm here. Yeah. Well, okay. good. Yeah. You still man, got that two-star general hanging around you? Yeah. Huh? Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll keep him. Yeah. Well, Alan, how's business and allied are? Is that what we're still calling it allied right now? Yes. We are. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Pest control <laughs> business? Good. Bug stompers? Good. Good. About to start spraying for mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, Y'all do that too? Well, not yet. We're going to. <laughs> well, ain't it kind of time? <laughs> yeah, but now you got to have all kind of different license to do mosquitoes. Well, who so. checks on that? I know. <laughs> well, we're going to spray for ants, but we're going to kill mosquitoes. <laughs> now, ants are a big problem. You know, I don't know where they come from, but when there's one or two of them, there's about 2,000 of them. Yeah. Yeah. In a heartbeat, ain't yeah. Tom? They, they must be feeding. Huh? They, they must be feeding. Shoo, they doing something. Did everybody have a good mm. Father's Day? Mm -hmm. Did you hear about the, the guy, 19-year-old guy, that took his dad fishing up in Canada for the, the, the sturgeon? Oh, yeah. And he caught one. They released it, but the thing was 11 feet long. Good. You ever catch one of them around here? No. Look at the size of it. They weighed uh, 900 wow. pounds. 900 pounds? Oh, my pounds. God. That looks like Tony Griggs be out there noodling or <laughs> grabbing on it, Mike. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who would get in the water with that thing? God, oh, no, my me. goodness. Not me. No way. Mm. Uh -uh. They don't get in the water like that anyway. Look, <laughs> they did release it. But that, ain't that a big fish, Alan? 
for good What's the biggest fish you caught? You're a professional fisherman. The biggest fish I've caught? Well, I've been to the ocean. Not a tail. Times. So I've caught some bigger ones, on, you know, in the ocean, some big sharks. Hmm. Yeah. Now, but what's the biggest one you caught around here that's normal? <laughs> bass? Normal. Yeah. These bass, probably about eight pounds, nine pounds. I'll show off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know it. <laughs> I know it. Hey, speaking of fishing, Funny. <laughs> you need you ever met Clay Dyer? No, but I've Good guy. read a lot about him, heard a lot about him. He's going to be in Decatur this weekend. Got this out of Decatur Daily. Clay Dyer, June 22nd, isn't that Sunday? Mm -hmm. Is going to be at 2 o'clock and at 5 p.m. at Nature's Trail Church on Shoals Creek Road, Decatur. I don't know where that is, but Shoals Creek Road, Decatur. So he's going to be over there. And Clay has got a phenomenal, isn't he married now? Mm, I think so. Phenomenal, phenomenal story, story, Jen. You know the story on him? Born no. without any legs no. and one arm. Oh, no. Professional fisherman, and he fishes just like you would. He doesn't use any, isn't that right? He's uh -huh. like, he's, he's he drives and Ties himself. on lures, mm -hmm. does everything. Got his own vehicle and everything. It was just That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, look. I, I mean, just that is phenomenal. Mm. Holds it with attitude, 100%. Incredible. Zach, if there's a silver lining here, you are taller than he is. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's not right, Jane. <laughs> oh. That's not. That's not. Can't compare that, can you? He is a Absolutely. wonderful. What, what a story. I've, I've seen, you know, you know, on ESPN stuff about him, and it's incredible what he's went through and overcome. Oh, he yeah. It shows you you can overcome anything you want to. They say he's a great speaker, too. Yeah, he, he does a lot of speeches. You hear him go around a lot of places. So. What's happening in sports, Zach? Anything? Well, hey, uh, got the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies happened the other night, and there's a good article by Kim West in the News Courier. It's got a picture of all of them. Oh, Hugo dressed up in his, in his uh, tie, and Billy Owens and all those guys, congratulations. To those inductees. They're wearing uh, USA, USA. Hey, we won yesterday. <laughs> Did anybody beat? Can, hey, we beat Ganya. Ganya. We will play. Did you say Ganja? Ganya. But you know what's so crazy about this? We played yesterday, which is a Monday. We don't play again till Sunday. Well, it gives us plenty of time to rest up. I yeah. mean, it's crazy. In case y'all didn't know, World Cup soccer is pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there's, I, some, there's some guys I work with, they love it. So well, I could it's, it's a big crowd of Americans over I, there. Mm -hmm. yes, that's crazy. Uh, one of the nicest guys in all of sports, Tony Gwynn, passed away yesterday at 54. You know what happened You know why? Cancer. You chewed a lot of... Oral. Oral cancer. Tobacco. Smoke yeah. tobacco. tobacco. Chewing tobacco. Chewing tobacco. Chewing tobacco. He, I mean, he come out and admitted that he told people, don't do what I did. In the, wow, but this guy, guy, I mean, never heard a bad thing. You never heard any controversies on him. I mean, he just always had a smile on his face. One of the best hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, he didn't like that baseball much. He yeah, now, played, 20 years, years, yeah. played 20 years and won eight batting titles. You so. played baseball, didn't you? Did. Mm -hmm. And the uh, U.S. Open was nothing much of anything. <laughs> yeah. Martin That's the guy that won Kimer. his name, Zach. Martin Keimer from Germany. Now, that was boring. He won it. He, won, he won the U.S. Eight. Open. Eight. So Eight he, he, he led from start to finish. All right, let me get You were saying how they're all kids. Yeah, they're all in their like I mean, 20s they're and all 30s. just so young now. All right. When in it, playing. You play golf too, don't you? Dead. See, you look like an all-around sportsman you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give y'all some tragic news. As I saw this again this morning. I saw it the other day on Daily Mail, Father's Day, of course, on Sunday. Mm. Never heard of this happening before, but a fire up in New Jersey killed five people who were there for a Father's Day celebration. Here's what caused the fire. Plastic flowers in their front yard. Oh, oh my goodness. It was, a pride, it was the pride of ownership that led a New Jersey family to decorating the front of their home with bright plastic flowers. It was those same decorations that acted as a fatal accelerant in a fast-moving blaze that killed everyone inside. Wow. How'd that happen? How bizarre. Yeah. I don't know, but the fire, the plastic just, just engulfed the house. Hot. It doesn't say what How started it. What they have? It said unidentified heat source in front of the house set fire to the decorations and touched off a blaze that killed six members of one family. Goodness. Goodness. Bizarre. Mm, that is bizarre. Hey, we got my Father's Day present. You want a picture? Mm. Well, you probably didn't you see it. You might can show it. Huh? You may not can show it. <laughs> Family show. Now, wait a minute. Guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right. He's not All my right. father. <laughs> Here is the worst Father's Day. Here, Abby. Did you hear about, uh, well, I, 
No, you can just you see You can't it. see that. Yes, you can. Look, it was very sweet. It was I got sweet. one of them, too. See? Now, go back talking to you. Uh, <laughs> here's the worst Father's Day ever. Her, and her name is Lucky. Did you hear about this? No. 37-year-old woman backs over her dad, a Vietnam-decorated veteran, in the driveway of their in California, she was drunk, driving that BMW right there. Daddy gets behind her, begging her not to drive drunk, backs over him, Alan, and kills him. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh. Not, her name was Sulave Lucky Barton, was drunk when she ran over and killed her father. This happened Friday afternoon. Wow. She had had a previous DUI conviction from 2006. Mm -hmm. He stood behind her, pleading her not to drive, and she backed over him. Mm. Oh, man. Wow, well, that's just... Ugh. Tragic. Tragic. It is tragic. I mean, crazy. What's Not going on with that? What else? Zach, Zach, Zach. Oh, Zach. Yes. Have you got that wrestling story? No, I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Come on, Zach. You'll... Zach's the only man I know, as soon as Charter came out with wrestling 24-7, Zach signed up. You couldn't get it on Charter. You had to get it. Get order it he order. signed up for it. He's got wrestling 24-7. Okay. He's got it. Zach, have you ever heard of the wrestler named Pat Patterson? Wrestler. Yeah, yeah, he came out. Yeah, this actually, the uh, Legends House on WWE Network, that was taped like two years ago, and they're just finally getting around to showing it. But he came out at 72 and admitted that for 50 years he had been gay. He'd had his, par his partner had just passed away 40-something years ago. Was it because he wore them tights? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I cannot That's a comment. good start. Huh? That's a good start. <laughs> yep. Professional that, wrestler, 73, mm -hmm. came out during the WWE reality series Legends House while seated at a table with wrestling royalty like Hacksaw, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Mean Gene, and mm -hmm. Jimmy the Mouth of the South Heart. Hmm. What you're calling? There he is, right there. No, you know. Yeah. Look how that little ratchet. That show was actually, like I said, it was taped like two years ago, and they're doing a reunion show on it. Well, I knew weekend. you would know the answer, Zach. Yeah. See, that's huh? Good. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Zach, see, if you're going to be more flamboyant up here, you need to start wearing some outfits like that. You don't I'm have not, to be, you know. You're not going to say anything like that, Jamie. Why? It shows up. It looks good. I, I would like to get a robe now, like see, a nature. Zach. We call him to catch Zach. There's a picture of Zach and uh, Johnny Manziel. Zach's been on him about not studying enough to get, make it in the NFL, Dr. White. So here he is right here. Another shot of Zach on the boat. Now look at Zach. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Zach was having a time of his life, Dr. White. Is that what, like Girls Gone Wild or yeah, something? Yeah, like Girls Gone Wild. No, it's not. That wouldn't be done. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like that. <laughs> Go ahead, Zach. Dr. White, I forgot to ask what subject, since you ain't been on with a couple months, what are you talking about today? Sun exposure is good for your health. All right. That's yeah. just for Abby. Yep. It's true. <laughs> for old people. Everyone. Well, look at Alan. He ain't been out in the sun since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel good being out in the sun? Yeah, makes you feel good. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Alan's going to talk about how he can fix that crack foundation for you, too, coming up a little bit later on this morning. When we come back after we take a break, and well deserved it, we're going to start and do something different today on the show, since I have. That's always scary. Well, it's, it's good stuff. Uh, again, that's I mean, even scarier. It's good. I'm going <laughs> to ask you a question. A question. And then I'm going to see who can answer it properly. The winner wins a T-shirt. Oh, Ten dollar t-shirt. One of the old ones I'm trying to get rid of. Oh, no, <laughs> no, they won't give me one. You got one. I, I wasn't going to tell him and make it. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you didn't give Tom one? No, one of them. He didn't get one. Jane, you, haven't, you haven't even mentioned the big Catholic news. What? What is it? The Pope says he's old enough and lived a good life. He's doing away with the Pope Mobile. He wants to get out with the crowd now. Well, when we saw him, he was out with the crowd. He was on the back of a pickup truck. Now, y'all got uh, close to him, right? Yeah, like with 10 feet, 10 yeah. feet away. But so yeah, he, there was no bubble. So he's doing away with the Pope Mobile. Good. It's mm. in my neighborhood now. <laughs> 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 All right, let me take my first break on this Tuesday morning edition of Cooper Hunter Live. Thank y'all for getting up with us, and y'all hang on. Oh, the love is